such thing as detoxification and there's no way that we can support the body to detox. Well, in my opinion, this is entirely false. We can absolutely support the body, expedite the entire detoxification process. So for those of you who are brand new to my channel, my name is Lucas. I'm the founder of Ergogenic Health. And my mission is to bring you the most cutting edge health information that you'll struggle to find on Google. So if you want to keep up to date with the latest and cutting edge health research, please do subscribe down below and please do like this video as it does help me deliver more amazing content. So ultimately in this video, what I want to look at is detoxification, a little bit about detoxification, and then also one low risk, low impact detoxification agent that we can use to help to detoxify the body. So let's define detox. Well, what does the word detox actually mean? Is detoxification possible? And is the liver the only organ responsible for detoxification? These questions are commonly asked. So I really want to sort of break that down. So the word detox essentially translates to the ability to remove harmful or toxic substances from the human body. So that process is a normal physiological process and it's actually completed via multiple pathways in the body. So detoxification is entirely possible. In fact, everyone is detoxifying on a daily basis. And the common example of this is simply going to the toilet, you know, using the toilet, sweating and things like that. So we'll dive deeper into this soon. So how do you know if you need to detox? Well, this question gets asked quite a lot. So what we can do is have a look at the symptomology assessment. This is something I've sort of put together. Ask yourself these questions. Does your sweat or body smell have a really foul odor or does it smell disgusting? If so, this can be a reflection of poor lymphatic function and sort of indicate that your body is storing harmful toxins that need to be purged from the body. Is your urine dark? Is your urine often too dark? This can indicate liver toxicity. Do you have brain fog? A lot of people that have brain fog have have heavy metal toxicity or they have too much glyphosate in their body. Do you have digestive issues? A lot of people with you know digestive disorders actually have heavy metals and parasites that need to be purged from the body. If you have low libido, this could be a final reason why your libido is low. Perhaps it's heavy metals affecting neurotransmitters. Do you have weird neurological symptoms which refer to you know, some sort of weird twitching and spasms or weird ruminating thoughts or bizarre thought patterns? And or do you have fertility issues? Again, a massive contributor to infertility is a general heavy burden from these toxins and chemicals. So quick fact, the skin is the largest detoxification organ. You know, the skin actually acts as a supplemental filter to the kidneys for removing waste from the blood. And when the other organs are congested, the skin tries to push out these toxins through the skin. And so the skin actually throws off about two pounds of toxic waste a day in the form of perspiration. So we can see in this diagram here, toxins enter the body through lungs, through the skin, through our guts. And then the liver's primary role is to modify those toxins, turn them into water soluble waste metabolites, and then excrete them from the body through the skin, through our kidneys, so urine, colon, through um, feces and or our breath. One thing that we need to bear in mind is that toxins actually do prefer to be stored in fat tissues but they can also be stored in bone marrow, liver, in our central nervous system, joints, blood, tissues, and muscles. So we can get a, a range of toxic symptoms associated with this. So let's take a look at the liver detoxification pathway. This is a really important diagram to pay attention to. Step one and step two, you should really be focusing on. So we can see that toxins generally come in as the fat soluble form, and they're actually transformed through a two-step process requiring a range of nutrients. So we can see that B vitamins and some other antioxidants and glutathione help to change the actual uh, toxin itself. The next sort of step is it sort of requires a range of other amino acids such as glutamine, glycine, taurine, cysteine, which then help to transform the fat soluble version 
into a water-soluble form to be eliminated from the body through our kidneys, urine, and bowel actions. So let's take a look at a non-damaging detoxification agent. Whenever you get into detox, perhaps one of the most dangerous aspects about doing some sort of detox program or detoxification protocol is the risk of damaging peripheral organs and or disrupting uh, enzymatic processes in the body. So a good example of this is the hardcore detoxifying compounds such as DMSA and some other really heavy duty detox agents. They can actually wreak havoc on the body and actually make someone feel a lot worse acutely, which can you know be really disruptive to someone's lifestyle. So something that I personally like and that I've used in the past to help detoxify heavy metals is something known as zeolite. You will be seeing a link to zeolite, the exact one that I use in the video description down below. So be sure to check that out. Uh, but zeolite is a negatively charged natural mineral that sort of acts like a magnet whose honeycomb cage structure binds and traps toxins and chemicals and carries them passively and gently out of the body. Test results like heavy metal urine tests show great efficacy and users report experiencing zero to none detoxification symptoms. The key point to note is that a lot of people generally say they feel more energetic, they sleep better when they start using zeolite. And some of those effects occur about five to seven days after starting. So let's take a look at some cool research. We can see zeolites, also known as clinoptilolites, the therapeutic virtues of an ancient mineral. That particular study was really cool. The next study looked at zeolite, the magical stone, main nutritional, environmental, experimental, and clinical fields of application. We can see this is perhaps my favorite study. Effects of zeolite supplementation on parameters of intestinal barrier integrity, inflammation, redox biology, and performance in aerobically trained subjects. This particular study was exciting for me because I noted some pretty serious, you know, effect sizes and, and also benefits. So we can see that it was a randomized double-blinded placebo controlled trial involving 52 endurance trained men and women. And what they were analyzing were changes in intestinal area function. And what they noted baseline, both groups showed slightly increased stool zonulin concentrations above normal. After 12 weeks with zeolite zonulin was significantly decreased, which is a mark of leaky gut in the supplemental group and IL-10 increased quite significantly as well. And the author sort of concluded that 12 weeks of zeolite supplementation exerted beneficial effects on intestinal wall integrity as indicated, indicated via decreased concentrations of the tight junction modulator zonulin. This was accompanied by a mild anti-inflammatory effect in this cohort of aerobically trained subjects. Further research is needed to explore mechanistic explanations for the observations in this study. So again, we're seeing beneficial effects on potentially leaky gut. So now let's take a look at the dosages for zeolite. One month supply is a standard uh, cycling regime. So four weeks on. Manufacturers recommend 10 drops in the morning and 10 drops in the evening mixed in water. But in my opinion, it's best to start with about five drops in the morning and work your way up. Now the reason being is sometimes due to its anti-diarrhea effects. So sometimes it can actually slow down intestinal peristalsis. The most most important point to note is that you need to increase your water intake. So please up your filtered water intake as you know, zeolite actually works through eliminating these toxins through the urine. So we need to increase our water intake to accommodate for a, an increased load on the body. Thank you everyone for listening in. If you found this sort of detoxification video helpful, please do check the links in the video description down below that does help to support the channel. And if you like the video, please do like the video and leave a comment down below as it does help with the YouTube algorithm. Thanks everyone for tuning in. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.